Yo, what's going on guys? Evan Tanaka here, back with another video. In today's video, we're going to be doing a 500,000 MT pack opening on these new Signature Series cards and Signature Series packs. As you guys can see, they have Dark Matter Luka Doncic, Galaxy Opal David Robinson, Galaxy Opal Rudy Gay, we got Pink Diamond Hito Turkaloo, and some other really good cards in this set. But mainly, we are here to pull Luka Doncic and David Robinson. Let me know in the comment section down below what cards are you guys looking to pick up. Personally, I want to grab Luka and D-Rob for my squad, but let me know if you guys are going after a guy like Rudy or a guy like Hito. Before we get into the video, I'd really appreciate if you guys could subscribe down below. I post three to four my team videos every single day and give you guys some of the best my team content on the platform. So without further ado, let's just get right into the pack opening. Like I said, we have 500,000 MT to spend and hopefully we can pull a D-Rob or a Luka Doncic. First pack is going to be no shake. Usually, these signature series, did I just get two Paul Georges? Yes, I did. Usually, these signature series packs are not the best, or signature series are not the best packs, but hopefully, that luck can change, and we do see a Dark Matter Opal pull. First shake on the left is going to be a Galaxy Opal in our second pack. Can we get Galaxy Opal D-Rob? Please be Western Conference. We can't see, oh my god. This is the problem about 2K, man. Every time you get a walkout, it always does a screen like this. So we have no idea until we get the card. But hopefully, it's one of two cards. It's Rudy Gay or it's D-Rob. Hopefully, we can see power within D-Rob. But hey, we got an Opal in our second pack. We definitely will take that. What's it going to be? Like I said, I'm clicking B. It's Rudy Gay Singer Series. Okay, that's the best. Not the best Opal we could pull. But that's the best Rudy Gay we could pull being a Galaxy Opal. And this signed Signature Series one. So definitely a W Opal in the second pack. Oh my god, back to back opals. Okay, I like to see that, man. Back to back galaxy opals. Can we see the walkout this time? No, we can't. This is a problem 2K really has to fix because I'm trying to do an entertaining gameplay or I'm trying to do an entertaining pack opening and I got a black screen on my screen. Like, I got, you know what I mean? Like, I'm trying to make it as entertaining as possible, but hopefully we can see Dave Robinson. We already got Rudy Gay. Now, please, 2K, show me the money. Show me the Admiral D Rob. We've got D Rob. We got David Robinson and the Power Thin version. We got the power within David Robin ver version in our third pack. And we got Rudy Gay in our second pack. Next pack is going to be a no shake. That is the guy I really wanted. I really wanted to see power within D Rob. I think I'm going to add Hall of Fame badges to him. I think I'm going to sell him on the auction house. So that is definitely a W man. Super hype about that pull. Next pack, going to get no shake. But back to back Galaxy Pull pulls, we pulled the signed Rudy Gay. And then we pulled the power within David Robinson. If you guys do not know, there's three versions of David Robinson. There's signature series non-signed, there's signature series signed, and then there's also the power thin one who locks in for a set. So kind of like NBA 75, where they're more expensive and more rare. So that's how she had W pull, man, because those cards, power thin, are gonna be so much more expensive than just the regular ones as we get a diamond in our next pack. I'm pretty sure the diamonds are like Spencer Dinwiddie. See, like 2K, you gotta fix this, man. 2K really has to fix this. Next pack here, can we get another shake? No, we cannot. We got Gary Trent Jr. We've only spent like we started at what like 2.3. I think we started at 2.3. So we spent about 100k MT on pack so far. We've already got two Galaxy Opal pulls, which is definitely a W. I know for sure that David Robinson is gonna go for more than um for more than 100k MT. That, that power thing, D Rob, is probably gonna be like 250, 300k MT, especially on day one, because like I said, he's in that power thin set. So next pack, no shake again. Like I said in the start of the pack opening, these packs are usually terrible. So I'm surprised we even saw two Galaxy Opal pulls in our first three packs. That's why I was very surprised because usually these are not the best. And yeah, as we can see, seeing rubies, seeing sapphires. But yeah, like I said at the start of the video, let me know in the comment section down below who you guys want to pick up for your squad. Me personally, I wanted to add David Robinson. So super hyped that we pulled him. And then I wanted to add Luca. Haven't pulled him yet. So hopefully we can pull Dark Matter Luca. That would be absolutely insane. But I'm still happy with my David Robinson pull for sure. So 150,000 MT into the pack opening here. Can we see a Dark Matter shake? No Dark Matter in this next pack. We do get Matt Bonner, though. We do have to watch out for the signatures because I don't want to quick sell. If I pull like a duplicate, you know, Luca, or if we do get a Luca signature, those have some sort of value because the lock in is Kenya Martin, who's not the best, but you got to watch out for the signatures because they could have some sort of value. We do get Mike Conley here. Also, I think there might be a free card that you can earn, like Domination, like De'Aaron Fox. So I wonder if that card's out. Not sure who that is, but I'll definitely check that out after the pack opening. This pack is going to be. Juan Tos is it Toscanic? I don't know how to say his last name, but I'm just gonna call him Juan. I know he plays for the Warriors. Hopefully, we can see Dark Matter Luca though. Next pack here. What's it gonna be? Shake on the left. It's gonna be another diamond pole. Doc Rivers. Okay, that's actually not a bad pull, man. 
that is actually not a, a bad pull we got pink diamond doc rivers hopefully we can pull him we get a dude we do get a pink diamond and a george carl okay man we are pulling pink diamond coaches like crazy we do see pink diamond george carl and we see a pink diamond in the same pack so that's actually a w pack because i'm pretty sure pink diamond coaches are still around 100,000 mt and we're gonna get a pink diamond can it be hito turkulu pretty sure the options are hito and al Corver. so we definitely want hito turkulu he's probably the more you know wanted card and probably the better card in general so hopefully we can get signed hito turkulu let's gonna see again i do apologize for this black screen it is gonna be cal corver non-signed not the one i necessarily wanted but i'm still not complaining about a pink diamond pull especially getting the coach in the pack as well so so far that's two pink diamond coaches in the pack opening which is pretty crazy to me next pack here is going to be amethyst bobby portis jr he does look to actually be like a good budget card so if any budget players out there are looking for a good power forward or center amethyst type card was super cheap i think bobby portis could be pretty good and we get spencer dinwiddie signed okay i don't think that really has that much value because spencer dinwiddie is only a diamond but hey, at least we got a signed thing i definitely will take that a signature whatever you want to call it next pack is going to be another no shake no pink diamond coaches now i'm like really on the lookout for like a galaxy opal coach or for a pink diamond coach because those coaches have a lot of value some of the galaxy opal coaches selling for over 500,000 mt which is insane in this next pack gonna be absolutely nothing like i said these packs realistically most times are not the best i would say so far we probably made our mt back but just barely because we pulled rudy gay d rob the two pink diamond coaches and we see a shake on the right it's gonna be another pink diamond okay and we see hito turkler in this pack Definitely would want to see Hito, especially since we just pulled Kyle Corver. But I'm just going to keep saying it. I do apologize for the black screen. Hopefully, though, we can get signed Hito Turkolo. He looks really good. We all love Hito in this game. Always a fan favorite every year. Always a fun card to try out. So hopefully we can pull Hito and it's going to be the same Kyle Corver. We will send our auction house because he may have some sort of value. But really want to see Hito if we're going to see a pink diamond for about 400,000 MT into the pack opening here. We're gonna have to get kind of a late pull, a late dark matter pull if we are gonna want to see Luka Doncic. But honestly, man, I'm pretty happy with getting David Robinson. Not gonna lie to you, I'm pretty happy with that pull. Yeah, after this pack, we'd be 400,000 MT into the pack opening here. Let's see what we can get. It is gonna be another no shake. Okay, so packs are looking like they're kind of you know drying off a little bit. Maybe we can heat up in our last 100k. We started at 2.3, we're at 1.9, so we have about 100,000 MT left on this pack opening. Welcome again. This next pack gonna be no shake honestly i would rather see a galaxy Bowl coach than a galaxy Bowl player because like i said some of those galaxy Bowl coaches are going for 500,000 mt or more but hey i definitely will take another d-rob for sure really want to see dark matter luca that's the one card now that we haven't pulled i want to see him or hito turkulu obviously for the mt purposes i want to see luca but i definitely would not be mad at a hito turkulu especially the signed version gonna be a shake right to the left gonna be a diamond pretty sure the diamonds are spencer dinwiddie and not sure the other one I thought that was a higher tier signature series, but it was Bobby Portis Jr. So that diamond was signed to Spencer Dinwiddie. We do already have him. So we'll send him into our collection because maybe he'll have some sort of value here. So probably about four more packs, three more packs. Can we get a last second Dark Matter pull? That would be absolutely insane. Shake right to the left. It's going to be Pink Diamond. Like I said, I will take a Hito Turkoglu. So hopefully we can see a Hito here. That's definitely the guy I'm looking for. If it could be signed, if that's a W. If it's not signed, I'll still definitely take it. Let me know in the comment section down below. Are you guys going to look to pick up Hito Turkoglu? Have you guys looked at his stats and badges on 2K on 2K DB? Or are you guys just going to pick him up and try him out that way? I think he's a really good card. He looks pretty solid. We do get signed Kyle Corver, which I will take. But I really wanted to see Hito Turkoglu so I could get a gameplay. And I think he's the better card. But three more packs here in the pack opening. And we get a clutch, a last second pull. And we see Dark Matter Luka. Shake on the right, gonna be another diamond pull, probably a Spencer Dinwiddie. And we clutch it up with a Dark Matter or Galaxy Opal pull. It is gonna be a no shake pack. Hope you guys did enjoy the pack opening. 500,000 MT was spent. We did pull D Rob, we pulled Rudy Gay, we pulled those two pink diamond coaches. So realistically, I think we made our MT back. Hope you guys enjoyed the video though, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.